everybody. Sorry for the very naked face. Um, I'm just about to review or do it sort of a mini review on the new foundation drops from Gosh. Mine are in 002, which is ivory, which is the lightest shade they do. The bottle's a lot larger than I expected it to be. And I thought it was going to be something similar to the, I think it's called Custom FX Drops, which you can kind of mix with um, sort of moisturizers and things like that or two different foundations but I think it's going to be more of just a foundation and I'm not averse to trying a new foundation um it's a long time since I've tried anything new so I'm just going to apply my base products I'm going to put a little bit link in the information bar below to how I cover my rosacea video because that will show you what I'm about to do now but I'll do it off camera to save time and I'll come right back and we will apply these and see how we go okay that's it um haven't used as much today, the rosacea is not quite so bad. I don't know whether that's anything to do with the Effaclar and it's doing really well at keeping my skin quite clear at the moment. It's all the water I'm drinking. Um, you're supposed to drink at least four litres a day, I think it is. But when I was speaking to my doctor, she says that doesn't all have to be water and it doesn't all have to be just water without anything in it. Um, she says, but at least most of it should be. So should at least three litres three and a half litres should be water. Now I'm not managing four litres, it's a huge amount of day for me. Um, so I drank four litres one day and I've been doing three litres every day since then. So I think three litres seems to be quite a good amount for me. So I don't know why I'm waffling about that because you want to see the foundation, but I'm just saying. So I don't know whether it's the water or, you know, it's the skincare, but I'm using the Noxy Doxy Serum, which is from the Glossy Box, and I'm loving it so much that so I bought a couple of the extra boxes. They did the French box for £5 and then postage, which was 8 so I bought another three. <laughs> um, one on Tony's old account, which um, is no longer existing, um, but I just quickly opened it and ordered a box on there. And then Alec and myself, so yeah. I got three extra boxes and I'm gonna think I'm totally insane but for eight pound and you get all of that value in the box I love the Noxy Doxy I use it every day um, and I love the little um, lip thing I use that every day and I'm using the Tioxane skin thing I've just started to try to use that I love the little bag that it came with and the blunzer is very nice so I thought well what the hell I might as well because <laughs> you know the Noxy Doxy is £35 on its own and after I use it all up I would know that I would have to get another one because I'm obsessed with using it I just love how my skin fails and I don't know whether it's been part of the improvement to be honest because just in the last week or so I've had a massive improvement in my skin anyway <laughs> Shut up, Lisa. So we're under the Gosh Foundation Drops. They're on offer at the moment for $9.99 at Superdrug. They do have an SPF in them. It is an SPF 10, so it's not a massive, massive SPF, but it is soothing and hydrating. It says buildable coverage, natural finish, lightweight feeling. I quite like the dropper sort of idea rather than a pump, because I feel like the pump nozzles can look very messy. But that is what the dropper looks like. And I'm just going to use my little MAC mixing plate that I got um, from the American Pro Store because they don't sell it Pro online here and I'm very far away from the actual Pro Store. So I'm just going to use that and put some drops on there. And I'm going to use a Sigma brush to apply it. And this is the Sigma Angled Kabuki, which I think says it's the F84, which I got my Sigbax Kabuki set, which I absolutely love. And I'm just going to pop a drop on there. It's quite watery. Show you a bit, but it's going to run over here. <laughs> it is quite watery, but we'll see what the coverage is like. So it certainly feels, um, I would say, like it has some sort of oil content in it. Because when you put it on your skin, you can feel. It does have a very sort of smooth feeling to it. You can feel it sort of on your skin. It feels really nice. That's pretty nice coverage. That was only one tiny little drop. So we'll put an, another one on there. And I hopefully... Actually, when you look at it, there is a large amount of like water or oil content. I'm going to like put you down here so you can see. Can you see how it's kind of separating out there? So that is quite interesting. I'm not sure about that. I think it needs a little bit of a shake, the bottle.
I actually do feel, I don't know if you can see, it has got a very light coverage, but I feel like that's probably enough for me with my base products that I've put on with it. I will say though, I could never use this on its own because I think it's just too light and because I've got rosacea it wouldn't cover that. So I think if you've got really quite nice skin but you just like a nice sort of um, very light coverage foundation this is probably going to be really good for you and if you've got particularly if you've got dry skin because I think that this just feels incredibly nourishing and because it obviously has some sort of oil content to it yeah just needed a shake it's much better because it's got some oil in it um, I just think that it'll really be nourishing for your skin it's definitely buildable because I feel like even just that second layer has added quite a bit more coverage there. The colour seems a pretty good match too. I think this will be really quite nice for the winter months when it's drier because it does feel lovely nourishing on the skin. I'll put that there. Tell me, have I disturbed you? It's okay. I'll just edit that out. Thank you. <laughs> it definitely feels like I've just put like another layer on my cheeks there, and it just feels so incredibly lightweight. It does have like. It has like a slightly oily feel to it, which I don't know if it's going to dry, but we'll sit in chat and we'll see if it does. But it feels so incredibly moisturising and so incredibly lightweight. You just feel like, although you've got like that little bit of oiliness, but it's just like that feeling like when you first apply moisturiser. It's that kind of feeling on your skin. Um, so it just feels like, oh, that's going to sink in and dry up and whatever. But yeah, it's really nice, actually. I really like that. I mean, it's very watery. So I wouldn't recommend kind of using the dropper and putting like a drop on your face because it's just going to run very quickly. I just feel like that's just applied really, really well. Right, okay. That is it. I've literally like gone over four times on my cheeks with just a tiny amount of product. And it has be it is very buildable it's built it up to a really nice coverage whether it work really well on its own on my skin with me having rosacea is another matter we'll do like a little test on that and um i'll let you know whether it would i think it's more for sort of when you need light to medium coverage i mean it certainly is buildable but it's certainly not a medium to heavy coverage um, but like I said, for dry skin, if you do have very dry skin, this is just going to be amazing for your skin. It just feels like really nice and you can feel, yeah, I can feel it's starting to feel less oily now. It's like drying down, but it just has a nice little bit of a, a glow about it as well. So, yeah, that's really nice. And I feel like I haven't used very much there because I felt like I just put a tiny drop out and it, it actually went quite far. So, hmm, interesting. So it's a nice size bottle as well. You get 30 mils, just like I think a standard sort of foundation size. I would recommend before you use them, you do give them a shake because they are really quite watery, which I suppose is probably best with like sort of the pipette style bottle. First impression is they seem really excellent. The only thing I do find about Gosh's though is that they never have enough in their colour range. I think there's only four different ones of these online. There may be more in store, but I do think that they do need more colour range in their foundations. And um, because it's the same with like the BB and CC creams, they don't seem to have much of a range. And I just think if they did have more colours in the range, they'd be able to reach more people. I do find that they do get quite good offers, I, and that was $9.99, and I don't mind paying that to try it, but I think it would normally be around $12.99. But if I try it and I really like it, it's probably something that I would consider purchasing just because it feels so nice on my skin and the coverage is really quite nice and it's just a nice sort of glow on my skin.
and I think that this is like I said probably really good for people who don't have a lot of problem skin but they do like a little bit of foundation um yeah really really impressed with it on the first thoughts so I'll feed back in the future on it and let you know what I think about it but I'll probably do like a little blog post so if you want to check out my website the link is on the first page of my channel it's like on the banner I think it's the last one on the right it's uh, it just says website and that's my website on Wix and I'll do like a little mini review sort of feedback on that but they do seem interesting uh, they're not what I thought they were going to be like the custom FX but um, I really like the result so yeah that's it for today guys hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe if you have I'm gonna love and leave you and see you in my next video hope you're having a great day wherever you are and whatever you are doing bye